Not bad, not bad. 18 minutes and 16 seconds. It's actually five minutes faster than my S plus run. And that's considering the fact that I grabbed all the treasures in chapter four. I think in my S plus run, I didn't even grab all the treasures and it still took longer. Welcome to my RE4 remake professional S plus guide. In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to beat chapter four in 18 minutes and 16 seconds. And while not the fastest time, I find that it's important to grab all the treasures in this chapter in order to set you up for the rest of the game. Make sure to like the video if you learned something new and subscribe if you wanna see more chapter guides of RE4 Remake. I hope you enjoy the video. All right, we're at chapter four now. So in this chapter, it's basically a treasure hunt. If you grab all the treasures in this chapter, you're gonna be set up for the rest of the game. As you saw there, broke a crate in the cabin, broke a crate to the left of the cabin, and grab the red herb. There's also another crate to the right, but it's out of the way, so I just prefer to continue running. Up ahead, you're going to find the first Las Plagas, as well as a Ganado behind him. All you want to do here is just continue running. Just ignore them. After passing the treasure insignia and grabbing the way shrine key as well as hitting the crate, I like heading towards the boat in the center of the lake. On this boat, you'll find a treasure, a crate, and the red nine. I like to sell the red nine immediately. If you're on New Game Plus, all you'll find is a gold bar. From here, you can go to Bok Island but I also like to grab this fish for the quest in this chapter. If you bring the fish to the merchant, you'll get some spinels. After grabbing the fish, up to Bok Island, this, where you, this is where you'll get the golden egg and a treasure. This golden egg will allow you to beat Salazar relatively quickly. And if you get the second golden egg, you'll defeat him almost instantly. After finishing up Balk Island, I come and grab the first key item. The code will always be the same. Grab the key item. If you grab the other hexagonal emblems or pieces, you'll find the third one here. Up top is a piece of treasure as well as a cabinet to the right here. After grabbing the key item and a treasure, I like to head towards the fishing village where Luis was found in chapter one. In this village, there's gonna be several different items you wanna pick up. A rhinoceros beetle, a ring, a gold bar, small key, as well as the waste shrine treasure. This rhinoceros beetle goes for 10,000 pesetas, so it helps to pick it up. Behind this door, you'll find the request for the large fish, as well as the small key for the locked drawer in the cabin nearby. Because of these wolves, I recommend doing this part last before heading back to the boat. Here's the way shrine.
And if you enter this cabin to the left, there will be a piece of treasure where you found Luis. After I finish up grabbing everything in the village where I found Luis, I head down this tunnel. Eventually, I'll come across an area where you can grab a Way Shrine treasure and a gem. Make sure to grab these crates. And if you didn't shoot down the gem in the chapter prior, make sure to do so now. Next, we'll take another right, continue down until we meet another dock. Here, we'll stop and get a key item number two. I bypass most of these ganados, but I do like shooting the dynamite ganado just so I don't have to worry about getting hit later on. You can take two different routes to reach the key item. I like going to the left because I like avoiding the Molotov ganado at the top of the ladder on the right side. On the left hand side there is a dynamite ganado, but you can easily bypass it. Once I reach the ladder on the left hand side, I make sure to take out the dynamite ganado and hit him behind this pillar. And then I attempt to solve the puzzle. Similarly with the previous one, it will always remain the same in every playthrough. Also, the combination is the same in both hardcore and professional difficulties. I like shooting down this treasure, jumping down, grabbing it, and heading out. After getting the second key item, I head back towards the church insignia. Once I get the church insignia, I head towards where the hexagonal puzzle is at. Here the solution is pretty simple, select the bottom right pattern, rotate it twice, rotate the left pattern twice, then rotate the top twice, or once. Now I head back towards the merchant. And before heading directly to the merchant, Jump down the ladder, take a right, and open the locked drawer. If you grabbed all the small keys up to this point, you should have one to be able to unlock it. So that's a Before you interact with a merchant, make sure to inlay your treasures with gemstones so you can sell everything all at once. If you grab all the treasures in this chapter, you'll be able to upgrade your sniper just like this. With these upgrades, you'll be able to take down El Gigante with no problem. Just make sure not to miss. On your way to El Gigante, there'll be a way shrine you could grab a treasure from. Whoa. 
This fight's pretty straightforward. Shoot him in the head until the parasite appears. Once the parasite appears, that's when you want to shoot. Parasite. You got worms too? If you don't miss and hit it once, you'll be staggered. I suck. Here we go. And once he's staggered and you shoot the parasite one more time, the dog will appear. Shoot him a few more times. He'll decide to run into the wall. And be staggered for a few extra shots. shot. No? Oh. oh. One last shot. If you manage to land all your shots, you've been able to take down the Helicante with no problem. There's items in each of these cabins you can grab. Free resources. And there's also a piece of treasure inside where El Gigante was residing. A velvet blue. And now it's a straight shot to the church. A wolf will appear at the top of this slope here. There he is. If you shoot him fast enough, he won't be able to pull the parasite from his back. Place the church insignia in the door. Once inside, there's a green herb to the left. Cabinet to, to the right. Two crates before this cabinet where the key item resides. This will allow you to operate the puzzle up ahead. There's bolts to the left. Another small key to the right. And then the switch to start the puzzle. Right here I like to start from the furthest to the left this no matter which direction you choose left or right you'll have to operate it the same distance now for the green dial you want to rotate it to the right and then on the red dial you want to rotate it, rotate it to the left you in there after finishing the puzzle Ashley will be waiting Ashley. One final note before we get to the run through, it's important to understand that in this chapter, you could go straight to the objectives and finish it a lot faster, but to set yourself up for success on the later chapters, it's best to, you know, spend your time here, grab all the treasures you can, and then finish the chapter. And that's everything I have to teach you about chapter four. Let's get to the run through. All right, here's a chapter four run through. Excuse me, Hunnigan, that's extremely rude of you.
Jesus Christ, my fucking heat. Oh my god. I absolutely hate how that thing moves. I need to make sure to heal at some point. Because I died to the most BS shit already. <laughs> It won't be in the video, but I got exploded by a dynamite from like freaking 20 feet away. And it wasn't even that it was thrown. It was just the fact that I shot it out of Ganado's hand and it somehow killed me. No, oh, thank you, sir. I don't want what you're selling. Say, man, playing games with me.
<laughs> it's so annoying. Butthole puckered up real quick. Yeah, I usually don't have trouble there. Somehow got hit. All the treasure, Papa. I wonder where I'm at right now. Job well done deserves payment in kind. I got something new for you. Your valuables won't do you much good in the grave. Perfect. You're a real professional. Let us know when you've made some room. Wish your enemies sweet dreams from afar. With the bullets a decent size. But size ain't everything. Am I right? There you are. As you wish. I could probably get the power up next. See how that feels, mate. Fellow like yourself should notice the difference right away. Probably do that, right? A deal well struck. <laughs> Thank you. Try that on for size. Might want to take care of any leftover errors. Good hit.
worms too? Hey still, bro. You move way too much. Shit. Damn, I suck, bro. <laughs> God. That was almost a pancake. Okay. Let's get to that church. Yeah, if I didn't miss so much there, I could have beat him a lot faster. Sheesh. His movements always get me. Like, I don't know. I anticipate too much. Ashley Graham, I'm here to help. Ashley, you in there? Ashley. It's probably 18 minutes. We got 18 minutes. Okay, okay. I wonder what's my best time. It's still respectable, especially considering like me going all over the place grabbing all the treasures. But that's chapter four for you. Like if you learn something new and subscribe if you want to see more of this kind of content. Until next time, my friends and family. Peace.